Can I help you, sir? You can help me find Maria. Oh, Maria's gone. We're completely self-checkout now. Please scan your item. Please scan your item. I just did. Please scan your item. Yeah, right. Monica Mendoza, people on the news. I'm pretty sure you enjoy making this movie so much, isn't it? Uh, we had a great time on this movie. It was fantastic. Well, I think it's something everybody can relate to. Most people have uh, kids and then grandkids and, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a common theme. Everyone's been a kid, at least, even if they don't have kids of their own. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think also, you know, the theme of a grandpa or grandmother just finally not being allowed to live on their own anymore for various reasons. And, uh, you know, you, you lose your independence. And now on top of that, um, you're, you're pissing off your, your, grand, your grandson and you don't want to, but you have no choice. So um, it, it's a wonderfully funny movie. I mean, it's a laugh out loud movie, but for all generations, you know, the, um, I mean, my, my, my kids in their thirties are gonna love this as much as I love it, as much as the, you know, the, the set six to 10 year olds and younger. You're not putting me in a home. What if it were our home? Jenny! Hi, Grandpa. Hello, sweetheart. I made this film uh, quite a while ago, so um, you know, for me, I can't, I can't remember anything specifically. Oh well, I remember, I remember we were filming uh, the Christmas party scene uh, in the middle of July in Atlanta, uh, and it was, you know, a hundred degrees outside. Plus, the humidity made it like 110, and we're all in sweaters and and hats, and you know. It was uh, very challenging, and I remember we were all just sweating and miserable, but yet we all were able to make each other laugh and, and enjoy our time together. So that's not always easy to do when you're hot and miserable. I, I want to say, first of all, how was your reaction when your kid told you, we need to make this movie? That was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, at first, you know, at the house, I have a rule where... If you want to see the movie, you have to read the book first. So when he read the book, he wanted to see the movie and he couldn't find it. So he came to me and he's like, Mom, read this book. I think it would be a great movie. You know, I thought it was a cute idea. I read the book. And then I was like, you're, I think you're onto something here because it is a good book. You know, it had a lot of heart and warmth. And so I taught Trey how to do it to his father and um, he pitched it to his dad and convinced his dad, you know, to, to give the green light. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, as an eight year old, I had a pretty one track mind thinking, okay, I'm gonna see this movie tomorrow, in the next couple of days, mommy, please make this, daddy, please make this. Like, you know, I was just like, I wanted to see the movie, you know? But, you know, just, I was just a normal eight year old wanting something and the parents were able, not, not only in it, they were able to not only that, but you know, they brought some life. Look like after the feasties is the best part of the life. Mm. Not bad. I remember thinking that my mom was old when she was 50 and I'm almost 70. And inside, you know, I feel like I'm like 30 or 40 and I hang out with my, my, uh, my kids friends and they're in their mid thirties and I, I just keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be old. And then every once in a while I get up in the morning and I go, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm older. But no, I, I think you're as old as you, as you feel inside. And um, I'm not giving up, you know. I, I find being around, you know, young grandchildren and uh, doing fun things with them and it, that keeps me young. Declaration of war. Give me back what is mine or face the consequences. Okay. Okay, you got your wish. Not that fast drying foam sealant. I'm gonna get this too. When you look back, do you believe everything you had lived? It's funny you should say that because with COVID, I decided, you know, and the fires, I thought, well, I better get the memorabilia out and just take a look at this stuff. And my mother kept stuff as well, and everyone kept stuff. And I'm just like throwing it out and I'm doing it with my kids. and. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I keep looking going, wow, I did that many movies. Oh my gosh, I was, I looked like that when I was 20 something. I, I, oh my goodness, I, I have not looked at it, not had time to even kind of fathom the experiences I've had in my life. And I cannot believe how much, you know, I did and where I've been and I, I'd forgotten all about it, you know. So 
Uh, no, no, I would never have meant, thought I'd have this life. Never, ever. I just wanted a job, <laughs> you know, because I'm a Chicano, I have to have three jobs at all times. And so this was just another one of the jobs and it kept going and it kept going and kept going. I, I, well, I guess this is my job. You know, there's some point in, in a career where you go, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, you know, if, if, if I'm lucky. Santa's dead! Did you see that? What is the